Hello and welcome everyone. It's better with that extra light on. Happy Monday. It is the 29th today. We are already almost done with January. Like what in the world? It seems like the new year was just here. Well, actually it seems like Christmas was just here and then New Year's and now we're already, you know, almost a month past. It's just so crazy how the time just flies. It makes me feel old. <laughs> So how is your guys' weather in your neck of the woods? So not to like throw this in anybody's face or anything like that, but I have to tell you today, I think we reached 75 today. It was beautiful. I opened all the windows and the doors and it, for me, I know everybody else thinks that, think, thinks that that is summer weather. <clears throat> but for us here in the 70s, it's still kind of cool. So it was still, you know, sweatshirt, sweatpants weather with the windows and the doors open just because it was so beautiful that I didn't want to um, miss out on opening the windows and the doors and letting that fresh air in when it is absolutely just gorgeous like that. <clears throat> Hello, Peggy. Hello, Frida. Welcome, you guys. <clears throat> So I did a adulting moment <laughs> for, for my life. So my husband's birthday is coming up tomorrow at 63 there. Wow, see, that, that's pretty warm for Portland this time of year. 37 uh, there in Michigan. Woo-wee. Which, I mean, I guess when you think of it in the middle of winter, when you think of especially places like Michigan, I always think of it, I've never been there, but in my mind, I imagine it being like below freezing, there are like feet of snow and all that kind of stuff. So I guess 37 might be kind of warm for you guys, but yeah, th that's definitely on the chilly side. So yeah, so I, we, I did an adulting move. My husband has been asking me, he wanted a new uh, nightstand on his side of the bed. When we moved into this house, um, I bought a new dresser uh, because we kind of downsized on all of our furniture. I actually gave all of our furniture that we had to my friend who has a great big huge house and the furniture that we had was definitely for a larger home. It was one of those big um, four post beds and it had the wrap around skirt around the top. Um, the dresser was just ginormous. It stood as tall as I am. Um, and then the two nightstands were just way too big. So it wasn't going to fit in our room. I mean, yes, I guess it could have fit, but it would have put us in really, really tight corners and we didn't want to be like that. So when I uh, gave that to her, we were just kind of stuck with box springs and a bed frame and very basic, just the frame. And we just had our box springs and our bed on there. Well, I, we got me a dresser because I had nowhere to put my clothes. He had gotten a dresser. They went to an auction and he found this really like old um, vintage dresser that I'm not into the old vintage look, but he definitely is. So that's what he puts his clothes in and his dressers inside of the closet so we can close it so I don't have to look at it. But he got his dresser and that's okay. So <laughs> um, mine poses as a dresser slash nightstand. It's on the side of my bed. So for him, he just has this old little wooden table that my grandfather, before he passed away, he had made. And he just doesn't have enough room because we have a we have two lamps um, on each one of our, you know, stands. And then he's got all of his stuff to like charge his phone, his watch, all of those things. So it just takes up too much space where he can't even like set his iPad on the side to even watch it if he wanted to. So 
he had been asking me to find a nightstand for him. Well, so I was on Amazon and I found an actual bed and a nightstand and two lamps that will like hang on the wall like this. And then our bed will go in the middle. So I bought all three things. So this is a full king size bed. And I like the fact that I can get rid of box springs because as it is right now, I have to almost like use a step stool to get into bed because our bed is so just that our mattress is so, so tall. And then on top of the frame and then on top of the box springs has just made it just horrendous. Like I have to roll to get out of bed and I have to jump to get into bed and I'm over it. I'm too old for that. So, um, I found a bed and like I said, a matching nightstand, which actually matches my dresser. And, um, then I got the two like wall mounted, uh, lamps. So then we don't have to take up space on our nightstands for lamps. So I came in and I told him, and I'm like, so I bought us a new bedroom set. And he's like, you did what? And I go, well, you know how you've been telling me you want a dresser? I was like, so I found you a, or a nightstand. I found you a nightstand that matches my dresser. So it'll all kind of look nice and match. And I said, I go, and while I was there, I kind of went ahead and just bought us two new lamps and a brand new bed. And he's like, really? <laughs> and I said, yes, but the best is yet to come. I told him, I said, I go, guess how much I paid for all of it? And I go, you know that I'm super picky too. And I'm not just like a cheap skate. I said, guess how much I paid for it? So he goes a thousand dollars and I'm like, not even close, but okay. I mean, cool. Good to know that I can spend a thousand dollars and he would just be okay with it. And, uh, oh, my eye is watering. And I said, I go, nope, not even close. And so he says, okay, $700. I go, nope, lower. And he goes, okay, what else did you buy? I go, I didn't buy anything else. I bought the nightstand, the bed, and the um, the two wall sconce like lamps. And he's like, all right, $500. And I'm like, no, I got it all for under $400. I think it was like $392. Win, win, win for me. Oh, I felt like I was winning so big. <laughs> I was so excited. I told him I go, Normally the beds that I was looking at before I found this bed and this bed just has the, along the bed frame, it actually has a shelf where we can set things. There's actual plugs on that top shelf. So it was just exactly what I wanted. And then it had a $40 off coupon on it. The ratings were amazing on it. So it was a total score. It was itself was over $300, but then with that, it was like 319, I think. And then I saved the $40. And then with the nightstand that was like 60 bucks and then the two lamps that were, I think, I don't know, 30, 40 bucks. I was just, I was blown away and I was pretty proud of myself. <laughs> so I thought I would share. So there will definitely be pictures to come um, once those all show up. And it's supposed to be like the first week of February that they're supposed to be slowly but surely trickling in. So yes, very, very fun. So I told him, I go, this is our adulting moment. Hello, Karen. Welcome. Who else did I miss? I missed quite a few of you since I was just jabbering away here. Hello, Shirley. Hello, Marcia. Hello, Melanie. Hello, Mary. Hello, Becky. Hello, Pat. Welcome, you guys. Hello, Linda. Thanks for coming in and joining me. So we have um, some beautiful cards, not necessarily beautiful. I would say these are probably more on the cute side. If you guys saw the graphic in the beginning of this uh, event, you saw that I'm going to be using the hot air balloon set. There is also a sweet set for this that is called, um, let me look here because I forgot what the sweet collection is called for this. And when I say sweet collection, it's just, if you want it all. So in other words, if you want the uh, embellishments and the the baker's twine, there's a three combo baker's twine, the designer series paper, and I'm trying, oh, and there's the, what are these embellishments called? These are called the rainbow adhesive backed dots. Now if I can find this page here. And then you get the stamp and the dies if you want it all 
It is called a sweet collection, and that sweet collection is called Lighter Than Air. Um, and there is one code that you can use to buy the whole sweet collection. That way you're not trying to fumble through, making sure that you've added everything to your cart that goes with this super cute sweet. Um, and then you just have it all right there at um, the disposal of one code, which is awesome. So I am going to actually be not only using that for these cards, but for one of my cards, I actually decided to bring in the, um, what is it, sunshine, uh, I need, I wanted the clouds from this other set because now again, oh there it is, it is called the Bright Skies Bundle. I'm also going to be showing that with one of the cards that I have created for tonight as well. So you'll know what I'm using. <clears throat> Alrighty then, I think we are probably ready to get started on um, this card escapade. Um, I have a lot to share with you guys today because I have gotten some cards over the week that are so, so, so beautiful that I want to share with you guys. Um, and yeah, so let me get you guys flipped around. I'll show you guys what the kit will look like. So the way that this works is if you would like to make the same three cards that I am making for you today. Simply go into my store, shop with me. When your order reaches $35 or more, and you must use my host code, I am going to send you a package in the mail that will ha have all three of the um, envelopes with the products that you need to create these cards. The only things that you will not get is you will not get any stamped images you have to stamp your own images and please know that you do not have to use the same exact um suite that i am or bundle that i am using there are so many other bundles out there that you could use on these cards and not have to use the same one that i am using um, but you're going to get all the products so you can go ahead and create your own um and the other thing that you will not get is you will not get the embellishments in there because um it's just too hard to mail embellishments, especially with the fluctuation in weather. Sometimes they don't stick correctly and it's just, it, they'll, it's just been there, done that, not doing it again. And so um, you will get, if I've used any of the ribbon, you will get that. I add the ribbon to that. Hello, Kay. Welcome, my friend. Hello, Denise. Okay, so I'm gonna get you guys flipped around, so hold tight. We don't want anybody getting sick, so you can shut your eyes until I have got my screen flipped around, um, so I will let you know. So I'm going to flip now, so if you get motion sickness, please close your eyes. Okay, you can open your eyes. I think we are good. All right. So as you guys can see, I have decided to bring over my glass mat and share with you guys. Um, this is part of our join special right now during celebrations. During celebrations, we always have something special when you join the team. So Stampin' Up! has done something really, really cool this time where you can either choose to have the glass mat added to your starter kit. It also has this silicone mat and it comes with a cloth-like chamois. This is wonderful for wiping off your mat. I will tell you this mat is wonderful to stamp on. It's also, if you're using uh, watercolor pencils or colored pencils, it really gives you a good surface where there's no textures underneath it when you are coloring. So it is really, really nice as well for that. Um, with some of your watercolor techniques, it also works good if you are to take your stamp pad and say you wanted to pick up some of that ink with one of your aqua painters or you wanted to use your Wink of Stella to cover with, you could dab this right on your mat like that. 
and you could go right in with your aqua painter or your wink of Stella, pick up some of that ink and color right to your stuff. And then when I was saying that this wonderful little doohickey here just wipes that off so nice and clean. It's actually made out of the same material that our purple chamois are made out of, but it's just a little bit thinner and easier to manipulate if you need to do so. <clears throat> Let me wipe this off because I just got done um, re-wetting that chamois for our show tonight. So, <clears throat> all right, there is that throw that away. So this comes in, you can pick, we have two options during celebrations. You can either pick to have the um, glass mat with the silicone mat and the chamois, or option number two is you can choose to have 30 extra dollars worth of product added to your starter kit. So simply go to shopdannygorilla.com while you're there, scroll across the top. You'll see my picture up in the top. Uh, I want I'm I keep thinking it's in the top left-hand corner, but it might actually be the right-hand corner. But right below that, you're going to see a um, little widget of different categories. Over probably, I think it's the fourth one over is the join. You're going to click that and then that's the easiest thing to do. Go in there. Your kit whether you choose to have the silicone mat or whether you choose to add $30 more of product to your starter kit, you're still gonna pay only $99. Wow, right you guys? And not only do you get to now have a whole plethora of stamping friends backing you, helping you with inspiration, you're also going to have a fabulous discount on all your furthermore um orders from then on. You're also being on my team, you're going to get a basic membership to Stamp Happy Academy. And we do so many um, giveaways and different kinds of challenges. And it's just wonderful being on my team. So if you have any questions, you can always message me here right on Facebook, or you can send me an email at stampinthepinkbarn at gmail.com and I will be more than welcome to uh, answer any of your questions. Mm. I just had my mom make me a cup of coffee. She makes the best coffee. All right, our paper pumpkin for the month of February is in the full swing. This is the sweet springtime. Um, this is our February kit. This runs from January 11th to February 10th. Yes, I can't wait, Peggy. Um, this will uh, go through February 10th. You have to subscribe um, during those periods to get this super cute little uh, kit. This is our paper pumpkin. This is going to be um, celebrating Easter and spring with adorable cards and treat boxes. So it's going to come with your little ink spot. And that is one thing I did want to show you guys. I thought... I thought I had an ink spot sitting here. Oh, maybe it's over here. I wanted to show you guys the other really cool thing about this little silicone pad. Well, she went and did it again. She moved things around on me. <laughs> Anyways, the little um, stampin' spots that come with your paper pumpkin fit perfect in these little uh, cutouts here on this silicone mat. I actually set this here and then I'm going to place my stamp pad in there to keep it from moving around when I go to ink up my um, stamps. So yes, if you want to know more about the paper pumpkin, you can simply go to my blog, stampinthepinkbarn.com. While you're there, you can go over to the right-hand side. There is a full um, categories list over there. If you click current promotions, um, you will scroll down and you're gonna find the paper pumpkin for the February kit. And that is how you can get subscribed to that. If you don't want to do the monthly subscription, we also have prepaid options. And right now during celebrations is the best time to buy your prepaid option. Hello, Denise. Hello, Anna. Hello, Courtney. 
So when you buy your uh, paper pumpkin subscription or your prepaid subscription during the month of January and February, um, it is our celebrations. You are going to get some extra perks when you buy it that way. So if you buy the three month subscription, you're going to pick, um, get to pick the level one um, celebrations item. If you do the six month subscription, you get to have either two of our level ones or one of our level twos of our celebrations items. Or if you go big or go home and you want to do the 12 month, get your full year taken care of, that is probably the most popular one because then people do it every year. They just buy the prepaid every year so they know that they're going to get their celebrations perks and they're not only going to get celebrations perks, but they're also going to get some Stampin' Up! Um, rewards. So for this, you're going to pick either four level ones or two level twos, and you're going to get $24.30 in free product. Those are what your Stampin' Rewards are. So it is a wonderful, wonderful way to do that. When you go to my blog, you can read all about the uh, prepaid option as well. Oh, I got to throw my hair up. I'm starting to get warm. Ooh. All right. So like I was saying that um, if you would like to get my kit free in the mail, this is my thank you gift to all of my customers who shop with me this week and use my host code. This is my current host code for January you're going to get a kit in the mail. It's going to look like this. It's going to have a um, three PDFs in it. The PDFs are going to be for each one of the cards in here. When you open these up, they're all going to be in um, your, your little clear cellophane bag as according to each card. So each one of the products that you're going to need for each card will be tucked into each one. So then you're not having to fumble through a whole bunch of different papers and trying to find what you need. It will be all there for you. <clears throat> all right. So I think we are going to get into our giveaways. <clears throat> Hello, Patty. So for our giveaways um, today for this week. So for liking last week's video. So simply on the bottom there, you see the little blue thumbs up or you see that little red heart. Throw those up on your screen for me. If you're watching from YouTube at a later time, you can also subscribe to my channel, like my page and like this video, it helps me tremendously. This card here was one of them that we made last week from the Softly Sophisticated Celebrations stamp set. This card here was using the bubble bath along with our wild wheat and some moody mauve. This card is going for liking last week's video. This is gonna go to Linda Hunt. So Linda, this is going to be coming in the mail your way. Hello, Robin. So watch for your happy mail. Then for commenting on last week's video. So come in, tell me where you're watching me from. Let me know how your weather is because I'm kind of a weather geek. Um, this card here was one that we used using the Softly Sophisticated and the Softly Sophisticated um, embossing folder. This is a two part um, set that is a level two celebrations. It has the stamp set and the embossing folder that come together. So super, super beautiful card. This is going to Becky White. So Becky, this is coming to you for commenting. Then when you do me a huge, huge solid and share my video. So simply come in, hit that little arrow down on the bottom of your screen. It's going to pop up another little pop-up for you. It's going to say your name. It's going to say, say something about this. You don't have to say anything. Just hit the little blue share. Now it's going to say that it is posted to your newsfeed and any of your family or friends who might enjoy watching stamping, learning how to paper craft, will then click on it and then do the same thing for me. 
So for sharing last week, the only thing you have to do is come back in here and comment and tell me that you've shared. So just comment shared once you've shared my video so I can see that um, you've shared and that I can enter you in the drawing for um, the week. So this is called the Simply Mobilis. This is a pack of six by six paper. This is going to go to Miss Marcia Lynn. So Marcia, this is gonna be coming your way. All right, you guys. Now, to, let me share with you guys some of the cards that I've gotten in the mail because they are so beautiful that I don't want to leave anybody out. So just know that whenever you send me a card or you send one of my family members a card, I always try to share them with you guys because I love um, sharing inspiration. It's just kind of my thing. And for some reason, my thing is being weird here. Okay, so let me show you. Um, so Mary sent me this card here. Um, this was more for a New Year's, so she said season's greetings, but then she said that the colors weren't quite for Christmas, so she just wanted me to know that it was more of like a New Year's um, card with the, the very pretty, vibrant colors on there. This is actually one of the kits that I had sent to her, and she just went ahead and did it with some other um, designer series paper here. So very, very beautiful card. Look at all the bling on this. So, so cool. So thank you so much, Mary, for that. Then the next one, Rhea Jones sent me this card here. Rhea is one of my team members. Um, it is a thinking of you. As most of you guys know that my daughter has to go in and have kind of an extensive surgery. And so she was just letting me know that she was thinking about me and knowing that it's a hard decision that we have to um, kind of decide what we're gonna do and where we're gonna have the surgery at. But look at how cool this card is that she has created here. So I'm definitely going to have to reach out to her and find out how she has done this because it's kind of like a little accordion fo fold in the center of this card. It's just really kind of neat and really adds a whole dimension to this card. So you don't know that it's gonna have all that fun explosion in the inside by looking on the outside. So it's just kind of like a wow factor when you open your card. So yeah, that came from Rhea, beautiful card. Then today, I'm not sure if Wendy is on here. I don't think I've seen Wendy pop in yet. Wendy sent me this along with a package. Thank you so much, Wendy. You are so, so, you know, just, oh, my heart goes out to you. You are such an amazing person, such a giving heart that you have. So this she sent to me, isn't that so pretty? And then she did some um, blending on the envelope and then stamped the little flower in the front. Now on this, she kind of did the same thing where she just put the little note in here, but then I can turn around and I can use this card, um, you know, as I see fit. So very, very cool. Thank you so much, Wendy. And FYI, I clearly got your package. <laughs> Okay, so I think we are ready to start tonight's Make It Monday. Mm. Oh, that coffee is so tasty. All right, so for my first card, I am going to be using um, the designer series paper along with the die and some of the little clouds. I also have decided to come in for my little background piece I am using these are the perennial postage dies. <clears throat> so I have used the second from largest die to create the little insert for this. So let me go ahead and get my stuff so we can go ahead and create that card. So here is all my stuff that I need. My card base is basic white thick. I have already scored it at the uh, four and a quarter. So there is my card base. My next piece is from the paper here. And shoot, I forgot to bring my designer series sampler. 
but this is a wonderful, very cheery and happy spring colorful designer series paper. This is the lighter than air designer series paper there. So it's very, very pretty. You get lots and lots of paper in with this. So actually this paper right here coordinates with the dies. You can actually take your heart and it will line up with the heart. Also your smaller balloon lines up with the smaller balloons and you can cut those out so you don't have to worry about stamping or doing anything. With that, then on the back side you have some stripes. You've got some polka dots with the clouds, which we're using tonight. You've got some lemon lolly along with some of that bubble bath. There's some of the fresh freesia. Look at that pretty little flower design there. So just to show you how fun the colors are for this. Okay, let me add that back to this so I don't make a mess with it and send it flying. So for my husband's birthday tomorrow, um, one of the big, big uh, department, our box stores, Costco, whatever, um, has a super, super great deal on, um, I'm, or what are they called? MacBooks, so the Apple computer. So we've decided that me and my husband, the, I mean, the deal is phenomenal. It is such an amazing price that we can't pass it up. So we are going to be buying ourselves new computers. I'm so excited, but then again, I'm so scared. Um, even though I use all Apple products, like my Apple phone, my Apple watch, my iPad, I still use a, um, a uh, what's it called? a Windows computer. So it's gonna be such a huge learning curve. I'm kind of scared. <laughs> I know a lot of people um, really enjoy using their MacBooks um, and think that it just works perfect when you use all other Apple products. It all just kind of syncs together. That's kind of my reasoning for going to that. But it's definitely gonna be a long process for a learning curve for me. So here is the... Uh, uh, piece that I used for the second um, largest die there. I used a piece of basic white. That is going to be my next layer. Then I am going to take a scrap piece of white. I also have a scrap piece of petal pink. Why is, hello Cheryl, hello D. Um, my device here is really being screwy. I think it probably needs to have an update. Um, let's see here. What is going on? Hmm. It's being kind of screwy. All right. So I'm going to set those two aside. We're going to go ahead and die cut and do the pieces that we need. We're going to stamp on this. I'm going to be stamping the large balloon. So right here, I have this great big large balloon. You've also got some of the insides that you could do two different colors of the layers on the inside of this. Hello, Frida. Um, then we have some different sentiments. This is a great one for the inside of your card. Then we've got the hot air balloon. It's got the three that actually lays on the inside of this one. So they're like two part stamps. So I'm gonna use this big one right here. For the, oh, sorry, you guys. Didn't mean to drop that. Ugh. That's one thing that you have to move your stamp off of this because it will get stuck to that. All right, so for my first color that I'm going to be using on this is I am using the Azure Afternoon. I don't know why I had Lemon Lolly sitting there. All right, so now I'm just gonna take this in my azure, I just like saying the word, <laughs> and I'm just gonna stamp that right on my white. Then with a piece of, a little scrap of my petal pink, 
I'm gonna use the sentiment up, up and away, hooray, it's your birthday. And I'm gonna take this along with the coordinating dies. Down here we have this really cool banner. And again, the way that it is shaped, you can see that anything can fit in the inside of that with this little banner. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take that and I'm gonna go die cut out of my scrap piece of pink. And when I do, I get a piece that looks like this. So what I'm gonna do with that is using my um, Memento Black and I think the up sky is here. Okay, let's stamp this. I'm just gonna take this and stamp right on there. Usually I'm sticking my head in here, so I'm trying to make sure I get that straight without giving you guys a shot of my head. Oh, that turned out beautiful. Okay, so we're gonna set that aside because we still have to die cut this. Um, what am I missing? Oh, I need to do all the little, I'm going to be doing my little clouds. So I'm gonna do, I think I'm gonna do two of the large and one of the small. So let me get out my, little machine here so we can die cut these okay I'm gonna put that for what yeah it was ups as long as it has like a box in it Probably. it's the cat toy for Corbin oh it's like this little weasel thing that he it wanted. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Just to keep the cat from destroying his stuff, he needed a toy for the cat. <laughs> oh, that's yeah. That's you can, as long as that's what it is. Okay. Okay. All right. So I have done two of my clouds here. And then we're going to do... Actually, I'm going to do a little one. Okay, let's do another little cloud. If I can get this thing in here. All right, so there is my little cloud. Then we need to die cut the balloon here, but I think I'm gonna actually turn this around like that. And then taking my large die. Now I've found with this die, there are some little bumps at the top up here. Those little bumps match with the little curves of the top of this hot air balloon. So I found as long as I have that little middle one lined up, it will line up pretty darn straight. As long as I can hang on to it there. All right, take this, tuck this in. Oh, I need to get a washi tape. Hold on a second. Or right, this little piece of tape will work just fine. It just doesn't want to stay straight in here. My son, as most of you guys know, he got a cat from the local shelter here. And um, the cat had some medical issues, which is fine. The medical issues have been taken care of. And uh, the cat is still very young, but it is being a terror. I don't know what its deal is. I've never had a cat that acts like this cat acts which is okay. I mean, the cat's been through some traumatic stuff. Like he clearly got hurt and then 
his previous owner took him to the shelter so they could do the amputation of his leg that had to be done. So the cat's really been through a lot. And that's what I keep trying to explain to my son. I'm like, you got to be patient with the cat. The cat's been through kind of a big, big ordeal. And, you know, my son's just not too um, patient with him. The cats that we've had in the past, we've raised them from babies. So they already kind of knew what they were coming into and what to expect. And this little guy just hasn't quite figured it out yet. And luckily, like I told my son, I go, it could be worse. He could be peeing on things, which he's never peed on anything. Knock on wood. <laughs> but he just likes to get into things and he likes to destroy my son's stuff. And it frustrates my son. So I, mean, I can't say I blame him. But I also told him he needs to be patient. All right. So with all my little clouds, I'm going to kind of do the opposite than what we have here because on this designer series paper we have the petal pink with the white clouds well since i'm going to be doing my focal image here on my white i'm going to do kind of the opposite and just come in with a little bit of this pink i'm using the petal pink ink and i'm just going to lightly rub across my clouds to give them just a little pink tint. Okay, like that. All right, let's do this side. D, if you are still watching, I will be calling you probably tomorrow. Um, I, I want to talk to you about a couple of things just so I have you on here and let you know. Okay, so there are our little clouds. We'll set those aside. So now what we need to do is we need to adhere our stuff. So I'm just going to adhere this straight down. Okay, maybe if my glue will cooperate with me. Yeah, I wanna find out a time that's gonna work for you. Um, we need to get together and go have lunch or coffee or something. Okay, so with this piece here, I'm going to place that right like so. Okay. Then with this, this is going to get adhered straight down on here. So we're not going to be popping that up. All right, then I know with some of these little clouds, I'm going to be just placing them kind of just around on here. And then our, we're gonna need this. I also need, I'm gonna use the little basket with the little fringe, like frill, I guess, whatever it's called, around the little basket. So before I stamp that, I wanna kind of, place this on here kind of how I think I want it to look and then I'm going to kind of tip that just a little bit come in with my black ink and then just stamp this on here just like so All right, now what I'm going to do with this is I'm going to adhere this little banner right down to the open space of the hot air balloon. See how that just fits right in there? So cute, right? <laughs> All right, and then we're gonna pop that up. We're gonna add some dimension to that.
Okay, I'm just gonna hold my finger with that there and then just place this down. It will lift above that little basket and that's exactly what I wanted it to do. And then with these, I think I'm gonna use some glue dots because I don't necessarily want them to be lifted, but when you use a glue dot, it's still raised just a tad from the uh, background. Ugh, there's a piece of glue on me and it's driving me nuts. So I'm going to take and just add a glue dot. And this is gonna get tucked kind of right behind here, like that. This one. And with the pink, it almost looks like, um, if you've seen the sunsets that have like the pink um, tints to them, that's kind of what it reminded me of looking at these little um, clouds. Like if the sun, if the clouds are just, there's just scattered clouds and that sun is just beaming off it um, during dusk, you'll kind of see that pink hue on the top of the clouds. That's just what this reminded me of. Okay, and then we're gonna take this cloud and we're gonna tuck it right here. So our balloon is now reaching just the top of those little clouds. Then we're gonna come in. I am using the rainbow adhesive back dots. I do not know what my device is doing besides driving me crazy here. And I am just going to bring in, now the cool thing about this is you get a lot of colors. So you get fresh freesia, you get, um, I'm assuming that is probably maybe, I don't know, because that's pool party. So maybe that's Lost Lagoon, you get bubble bath, you get your azure, you get lemon lolly, petal pink, and then flirty flamingo. I think, I think that's what that is. Let me look at my paper. It tells me what all the colors are. Um, that one there, balmy blue. That's what that is, is balmy blue, not um, Lost Lagoon. Okay, so I'm going to use my Azure. Put one there, put another one right there. Then we're gonna put one more up here towards the top. Then we're gonna grab an inside I need to cut some more insides of my card. Now what I'm gonna do is because even though this is white in the inside, I really think it needs another layer because if we do any kind of stamping, sometimes you can see it through and I've kind of learned over time that it's just not cute. So we're gonna use this and let's bring in a little strip of that paper. I thought I had it in my envelope. Oh, there it is. I was gonna say, I thought I put a piece of this paper in here. Now I'm gonna take this and just go right across the bottom with that. Oh my gosh, my son, he's got the cat toy. I can hear it. They must have put batteries in it. <laughs> he's out there rolling it around. Now we have carpet at my house, but my mom's house has uh, wood flooring and it is so noisy. For Christmas, we bought her a, like a, what are they called? Like a Roomba, those vacuums that go just around the floor because it's getting kind of hard for her to vacuum the house. She had, when she got it and she put it all together and she set it up and blah, 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 did all the things with it. She had videoed me one night showing me, hey, I got my Christmas present up and going. It was so noisy on her floors. I was like, there's no way. I go, you can't leave that thing going. You won't be able to hear it. Not that she can hear anything anyways, but I was like, you won't be able to hear anything with that going. And it's gonna drive everybody nuts. So she wound up taking it back. So <laughs> I told her, I go, oh my Lord. <clears throat> so we said, up, up and away, hooray, it's your birthday. We could either do like big wish or just a note to lift you up. But since it is a birthday, I think I'm gonna do the wish big. That seems to be more fitting. 
And with that, I think I'm gonna do it in the Azure, just to give a little bit of contrast in here. Wish big. Perfect. Okay, let's now adhere that right inside of our card base. Okay. And there we go. Our inside is complete and our outside is complete and we've carried that paper over the inside to make it just as pretty. Isn't that cute? I just think that is very simple but very doable and really just gives you a great little birthday card that you can make a bunch of these up and have them just sitting there. So when a birthday comes around and you've kind of been like, dang it, I don't have a card made, grab one of these out and this could be going, I mean, because of the colors, it can go for anybody. So there is our first card. Okay. Then let me move, or actually let me clean off some of these here. So this is that rag that I was telling you about. It's really kind of cool. I just keep mine in one of these clear uh, stamp cases. Okay, there we go. All right, next card. I am going to be making this super cute little card. Now, if you're on my team and uh, when we did our team meeting, if you were in any of the prizes and you got a like a door gift or anything in the mail, any of the giveaways, you probably got a card that looks kind of similar to this. Well, that is where I got my inspiration for this card. So when we're done here with this card, when I recreate this for you, I'm gonna show you the inspiration. If you haven't seen that card, um, Kelly really uh, outdid it with herself on this colors. So I really like the, um, the way that all those pastel colors really kind of come together on this. So let's go ahead and do this one. Okay, all the little goodies in here. So my card base for this one is Lemon Lolly. It's really kind of a soft, pale yellow. Okay, there's my base. I'm gonna set that aside. My next layer that I have is a piece of Azure Afternoon. Now just know you guys, all of the dimensions to these cards will be up on my blog, stampinthepinkbarn.com tomorrow morning. Um, so this is the Azure Afternoon and I have used the embossing folder, one of them from the little two set here. This is called the Cheery Patterns. This comes with two embossing folders. This is for our little mini machine, but it can very well be used in the big machine. But this comes in a two pack. So this one's got like some circles. And then this reminds me of kind of like ocean waves or like the current of the ocean. It'd be really neat on any kind of your nautical looking cards. So we're going to be using that. That is what I'm using here. So I've already ran this through. So as you can see, and even on this color, it really makes it kind of look um, a little nautical. So that will be my first layer. That's gonna go straight down on there like that. Then I have a piece of my designer series paper, and I chose the one that has a lot of different colors to it, just so it really kind of shows off that paper. So that's gonna go next. Then with a scrap of my uh, Flirty Flamingo, I also need a scrap of Azure. I need a scrap of the Basic White to do my stamping. And then I've got a strip of that Designer Series paper that's gonna go on the inside of my card. So, coming in with my Stylish Shapes dies, I have used the large white banner to cut out a piece of um, my flirty flamingo. And when I do, I get a banner that looks like that. Now that will be 
I layer that's gonna go right across here like so. This I need to use. So here is the bottom base of our hot air balloon. I need to die cut this and I'm just gonna do this over here really quick. So there is my little <clears throat> basket hot air balloon. Okay. So that was the scrap that he needed for my Azure. Let's get all the little pieces out of here. <clears throat> there we are. And then I'm going to use the scrap that we already have sitting right here. <clears throat> and I'm going to use um, that big balloon again. But this time I'm going to bring in the um, lemon lolly. This is a very, very pale yellow, as you can see from the card base here. It's just really kind of lovely. And then when you use the azure on top of it, ooh, it just really makes this thing pop. Okay, so there is that. So what I'm thinking is we can actually do the wish big in there just to kind of make this a little bit different. I know my original card doesn't have that, but I think I'm gonna use the wish big in the inside of that. So just taking the azure and the wish big, I'm gonna stamp that right in the center here. Look at those two colors together. Aren't those, oh, amazing. Love it. <clears throat> All right, I'm going to use the big die again and I'm gonna cut that out. try to cut it out for some reason I am having issues keeping this thing straight and then I'm knocking things over see you guys I am just here to wreck the world <laughs> kicking the paper trimmer over all right there is my balloon and then this little piece here, see with that azure on there? This is just going to go right there and really complete the look of this hot air balloon. So I'm just gonna run just a dab of glue over the top of the basket and then up here to kind of just lay this all together. Hello, Alma, welcome. So this is just gonna go right to the base of that to hold that in place. And then it just kind of all fits together there nicely. Okay, there's my balloon. So now let's go ahead and start adhering this down. So this is gonna go right in the center of our base and I'm not measuring anything. I'm one that just kind of eyeballs it and just goes with it because these are our personal creations and perfection does not need to be the thing because we are doing this our way. Okay. And we're human and we're not perfect. So neither should our cards. We are not Hallmark, we are card makers. So, there might be flaws, but there are beautiful flaws and we've made them with love. Okay, now with my little flirty flamingo, before I adhere that down, 
I'm going to take some of the Lemon Lolly. This is part of the Baker's Twine three combo or three color pack. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna just pull some of this off of here. Now I'm just gonna hold some extra off to the end there. And then I'm going to just wrap this probably about three times. Okay, and then I'm gonna tie it. Okay, just like that. And then I'm gonna tie it one more time, but I'm gonna cut this excess off here so I can get in here with my fingers. So my son wakes me up this morning. Well, not really wakes me up, but comes inside of my room. I'm laying in my room, just kind of looking at stuff, emails, checking stuff on my phone. And he lets me know that his friend in Texas is in a lockdown at his school. He's a, I think he's either a junior or a senior. And there is a school shooter <laughs> or a threat of a school shooter. Whether or not it was true, I mean, it was true, definitely, but I don't know whether or not the kid really had a gun or what the situation was, but it was just mind-blowing. I'm like, what is going on? Why is, why is this a thing? <laughs> but I just told him, I go, you know what? I can just be thankful that I was able to stay home and my kids were able to stay home and they were all homeschooled because I I can't even get over the stuff that is going on in schools nowadays. Like your school is supposed to be your safe spot, I thought. Like that's how it always was when I was growing up, but then again, I'm old and things have definitely changed from my time. But yeah, it was just, it was crazy. He was so worried about his friend and all this kind of stuff. And the, the friend's brother goes to school there too. So it was, he was trying to get a hold of his brother and his brother's phone wasn't, I don't know what was going on, but he finally got a hold of him. The parents came and picked the kids up and all is good, but it's still just, it's just wild to think of what, what goes on nowadays. That's when I can go, oh, I'm so glad my kids are out of school and grown up and I don't have to worry about that. Okay, so I'm going to now pop this up. Yeah, my friend here in um, Tucson where I live, her daughter actually is now on homeschool because a couple months back, their school had a school lockdown because of a shooter and it was so dramatic and traumatizing for her that she could no longer go to public school. And I was just, <laughs> it just blew my mind because the, the girl was, and she's in high school as well, and she uh, was videotaping the the cops just running down the hallways with these big, huge, like shotguns and AKs and all this kind of stuff. And she was just, I mean, she was petrified. She's like, you know, we're not at war. Why are cops and security guards flying through our halls at school with these big like artillery guns? But you know, they they have to be, you know, armed to go into battle if whatever is wrong is wrong, you know? So I don't know. So she's now homeschooled because she just can't go back to school. It's just too, too much for her. She gets um, very bad anxiety and stuff if she was to go back into school. So we are going to then put this hot air balloon right there. Isn't that cute? Hello, Melanie. Hello, Linda. Okay, so I'm going to put a dimensional at the very bottom and at the top because I want it to make it past my little flirty flamingo banner. So I'm going to put one up there and I'm going to put one down here because it is going to be the same height as the banner, but it, I want it to pass it. So I'm going to put this right like so, 
okay, with my cute little lemon lolly bow. So that all just ties really nicely together. And then I need to grab, uh, I need to cut some more of my bases. So let me grab, basic white and cut this down. Okay, let me move this out of the way. Five and a quarter by four is what I use for all of the insides of my cards. So this is what we're gonna do. We're gonna actually put this strip on the inside of this. Okay, and then I'm gonna cut off the extra here. And then this is gonna go on the inside of our card. So you can pick which way you like it. If you like it with the designer series paper on the inside, or if you like it on the outside. I think with this card, I think I'm gonna go with it on the outside. Then we can either come in with the um, up, up, went away, hooray, it's your birthday. I like that with the big wish. Again, that coordinates together. So this time I'm going to use the Azure Afternoon because I think if I was to use lemon, it probably wouldn't be um, easy to notice our sentiment. So that's gonna go just like that. Okay, and that's gonna go on the inside. Give that a minute to dry. Yes, this is a very, very fun set, Kay. Glad you have it ordered and it's on its way so you can start playing with this very very fun and cute and again it's so versatile with what you can do with it um some of those sentiments in there aren't only for birthday you've got the hang in there and you've got just a note to lift you up which is really kind of cute that you're letting somebody know that you're thinking about them and you're just giving them a hey a heads up you know how's life treating you whatever hang in there And they don't have to be, like this is kind of a kitty card, I think, with the colors. You don't have to go kitty with this because as you'll see with my last card, it's more of an adulting card, I think. Um, so, but you guys can decide. So there is that. Let's add some embellishments to this. I'm gonna come in with my flirty flamingo embellishments. I'm gonna put a big one right here in this corner. A little one down here and then another little one right up there so there we go give it a little bit of extra oomph to that card again that is card number two for this week okay and I'm gonna show you the inspiration for that card just because I think you guys need to see it so this is the card that Kelly um, sent me. She um, was thanking me. I do a challenge in our team page every month. And sh this month, she let me pick out a bundle of my choosing and um, sent it to me. And so this is the card that she had in that bundle that she sent me for thanking me. And this is from a new set that we have. It says, you're wonderful, just a note. I appreciate you. And then she wrote thanks in there. And thanks for all you do. So yeah, very, very cool. This is why I love getting cards from other people because again, you can see how I kind of used her card for that inspiration to just um, use it for, you know, 
a different layout that I needed. <laughs> so yeah, very cute. All right. Now for my last card, as I was saying, this is more of a adulting card. Now these little things, you can open these up as much as you want. It kind of just has that 3D effect to that. You just add a couple of those balloons together and I'm gonna show you how to do that. And if you went to put this in an envelope, what you pretty much wanna do is just lay it flat like that. It'll slide in the envelope, but then make sure that your recipient knows, or this can be just a hand deliverable card. So then they can see how that works like that. But I love the colors of that. This is one of those cards that I chose hang in there because you're just kind of hanging and floating through the air in those beautiful little hot air balloons. Not my cup of tea because I'm scared to death of heights, but hey. If it's your jam, it's your jam. <laughs> Just not for me. All right, so let me get, and that card is using that extra set that I was telling you guys. This is the brighter, or bright skies. This is all about clouds. You've got the brighter skies are on their way. You brighten my cloudy day. Sprinkled with love. Now I've made some really cute cards using this set as well, and I will use this at a different time to just feature this set. But I really wanted to use some of these clouds on that card, so that's why I brought that in here. Okay. Let's move some of my mess so I can like re-find myself here. Um all right. So what we need is my card base. So for this last one here, so for my base, I have used, um, this is a half of a sheet, but I am doing it the long ways this time, not your normal card, but um, I kind of like the way that this opens. This is eight and a half, eight and a half, this is 11 and a half scored at, and it's by four and a quarter. Geez Louise, if I could even think right now. And it is scored at five and a half. As you can see, I'm not used to uh, having to talk about that size very often. I can't, bleh, my brain doesn't wanna work. All right, so that is going to be my base. Then I have a piece of, this is boho blue. This is one of our new in colors. That is um, my next layer on that. Then I have a piece of white, we'll, which will be the next layer. But on this white, we are gonna do um, some die cutting and some stamping. Then I have a scrap of basic white and a scrap of the boho blue. All right, so let me move those. For this, I'm going to go ahead and lay out my dies how I want them, and then I'm gonna go cut those out. So I'm going to be using uh, this cloud here. Now this cloud is a closed cloud, and then this one is the smaller open cloud. I'm going to do this one down here and this one up here. So just like so. Okay, let me die cut those out. And let me kick my paper trimmer again because it's right under toe. All right, where is my, there it is. Now for this, I'm going to be keeping these clouds. I want to use those. I also need to cut out with that scrap of white. I need to scrap, cut out another one of these clouds.
And if your paper ever gets stuck in your die like this and you can't get it out, always know that Stampin' Up's dies always have circles somewhere on them. There are these little tiny holes. All you have to do is take your take your pick tool and simply pull that right out of there. It'll push it out so you can take your paper out of that. All right, I'm done with those. All right, so now when we go to put this on here, you're gonna see the boho blue sticking out of those clouds, okay? But I wanna do some stamping on this first. So using the cloud that we have here, <clears throat> And just has some little stripe texture to it. And using my Boho ink, I'm going to stamp this <clears throat> right over here. And then right down here, like so. I think I might do one up here. Yep, just like that, just to give an extra little third cloud. <clears throat> okay, and then I need to grab this and just whoop, wipe that right off. Then I'm gonna adhere these two together. Get my glue booger off of there. So tomorrow, um, not only is it my husband's birthday, but I've got to go into town. My son has a doctor's appointment. <clears throat> I've got to go pick up my W-2 forms. And um, my husband has requested a red velvet cake. <clears throat> so I have to go on the hunt searching for a red velvet cake. None of us are fans but him. They're in that basket right there. No, I, <clears throat> it's like there's just, <clears throat> yeah, gross. No. Okay, so those two clouds, I want them to kind of give the image that there's two different clouds overlapping. So those are gonna sit there. I'm not going to commit just yet because <clears throat> I want to do some stamping. So I am going to use, again, I'm gonna come in with that huge, balloon <clears throat> oh. and I'm using Knight of Navy this time and I'm going to stamp that there Marcia I would love there's nothing more that I would love to be able to make him a cake but a, I have so much running around I have to do tomorrow that I cannot commit to making a cake. And I will be straight up honest with you, I don't cook. I am horrible at it. I don't really even try. I don't like cooking. I guess that's probably what is really the honest truth is I don't like to cook. It's just not my jam. Um, and I would rather just go buy him one because then I can blame it on somebody else if it doesn't taste good. Because if I go through all that work and it turns out like turd, <laughs> it just, it wouldn't be fun. And I wouldn't want to like ruin his birthday for me making a crappy cake, right? So I, I have to just find, I'm sure there's stores around here that sell them. And I just, I have to just go look tomorrow. I don't really know <clears throat> of a store 
that has, maybe all stores carry red velvet. I don't know. So does your husband cook for all of you? No, not really. <laughs> we just kind of fend for ourselves. It's more or less like, like my son, he likes salads and he likes like top ramen. And my husband grills a lot. Uh, a couple years ago for, uh, what was it? Father's Day, I bought him a Traeger. And so he does a lot of cooking out on the Traeger. Like he makes, oh God, what does he make? He'll make homemade macaroni and cheese that is absolutely to die for. Um, he'll make, like he he's a butcher. So of course he brings home a ton of different steaks or so, like a couple years ago we raised our own cow and then we had meat in the freezer. So we need to get another cow and raise it and do that again because that's the best way to have our own meat and know what we're giving to our animals. But for the most part, I am the kind of person that if I'm going to make a meal, it'll be like spaghetti and it's going to go in the Instapot. I'm very like, because I don't like to cook, it's more or less I don't like to be in the kitchen. I don't like wasting my time in there. I have a million other things to do that being in the kitchen just isn't fun for me. So we eat a lot of like hamburgers. We eat, um, God, a lot of steak. And because I'm so iron deficient, my doctor said, you know, kudos. That's probably the best thing that I can do for myself. So him being a butcher and it, it just works out fine that way. So we do like macaroni and cheese. We do like not good for us kind of foods, <laughs> but it's just the way it is. We're just, we're lazy and... My husband claims that he likes to cook, but I'll believe it when I see it. <laughs> okay, so I have this little die right here that is shaped like a heart. Um, I am going to need that big balloon again, and I'm going to be needing the little bucket here to cut that bucket out. And then this heart right here. So you've got two little heart dies. One does little um, a little design on it with the little open uh, lines. And then this is just a plain little heart. So I'm gonna use the plain heart. I'm gonna cut out of my boho blue. I'm gonna cut out four of those hearts. Just to save time, I've already cut out three of them for us. But I will go ahead and cut this one out and I will cut these two things out here. Also, there is an intricate piece here that gives you more of like a lacy look. I'm going to um, die cut that from a piece of white scrap as well. So let me get all this stuff over here. Let me get this die cut out. Hopefully I can kind of do all this at one shebang. There is my balloon. There's my little basket. Um, there's that. I think I'm gonna do that, redo that basket because I don't like the way that that turned out. It shifted when I was running that through and it's just not very straight and it's gonna bug me. So I'm gonna go do this again really quick. I have to do that boho blue balloon anyways. Now here is that intricate die and then here is that intricate lace looking little piece. Now I wanna make sure I get all the little dots out of there and I'll do that in just a second because I wanna get this die cut. All right, so there is my fourth little heart that I need. 
and then a much better little basket. This one is much straighter. Okay, there's my better basket. So I'm gonna throw this one away. Okay, I'm gonna close this for the moment till we stamp our sentiment. Let me put the rest of these dies back over here so I don't shove anything off on the floor and lose anything. Okay. Now, if you've got a little tiny lacy piece like this and you've got these little pieces that are just sticking inside of there, use the end of your take your pick and just poke those out to give you a nice clean image unless you don't care and you just wanna leave them in there, that works too. All right, so this is going to now just go in this little white space. It is white on white, but I really like that look. It looks kind of clean with that Knight of Navy. Okay, then go here and then over here, just put a little bit just to hold this in place. And now this is gonna go right in that little area there. Isn't that cute? It just really adds some decorative design to that hot air balloon. And we're gonna do some little bling on that in just a minute. Then on the little basket, I'm just gonna take two little dots up here at the top of the little strings and then I'm just gonna place that right on the ends of that to hold that in place. Give that a second to dry. I'm gonna move that over there. Now, what we need to do with these little balloons, these little hearts. Now, these are really easy to do. I've already done those three. I'm just gonna show you with this one that I just die cut. If you take the two little upper bumps of your blue, they will fit right in these two little chambers and it lines up perfect on your track here. That way you can fold this and move your cutting blade first and foremost. Get that just out of the way. You don't want the cutting blade. You want your light color. This one here, this is our um, scoring blade and you just want to score the center of that just like that and it scores perfect right at the little where those two little humps meet in the center and at the very point it just lines up perfectly yes I absolutely love the boho blue too I think it is such a pretty color and I really like it with the sky looks of that it looks almost like a country blue to me all right so here are our little, the first one I'm gonna leave alone. I'm not gonna fold it, but then our other ones, I am just gonna fold them right in half and just kind of watch my point down here. And you can kind of roll it with your fingers to get it straight. So there's our first one. And having that guide of your um, score mark down the center really helps. There's the second one. And then here is our third one. And if you want to, you can give those a good burnish on there. Now, you can use Terran tape. I'm gonna use um, a couple of glue dots on mine this time. I just think that they work better. So with your your first heart, we have made sure we didn't fold this one. This one's gonna stay flat, but we did score it because you want that center point on there. I'm gonna lay that center point since I can see it on the back, and I'm going to put that mini glue dot right in the center of the top, and I'm gonna do another one at the center towards the bottom. Just like so. 
move that over a little bit if we need to. Now I'm just gonna start taking my little hearts and I'm going to hold this one over towards the side and I'm just going to place that right into that. I push it down for now. The next one I'm gonna do the same thing, bringing it right in the center of those mini glue dots. My other one I used glue and it worked but it just took a very long time to dry, which is okay. Then I'm gonna flip it one more time and then push this one down in there. Oops, see that one doesn't wanna stay. Tear and tape might work. I don't know, I haven't tried that. And then you can just kind of pull up your sides of your little things here. Now, if you don't wanna have that many, you might just wanna take one out. Yeah, I think I'm gonna take one out and just do two in there. So actually, all you need is three hearts. Because I think it gets awfully crowded if we do four. So there are one is flat and the other two have gone inside of there because then, I mean, like I said, you could do a third one, but I think that just is kind of overkill. So yeah, we just want to do three hearts. You can do as many as you want. All right, now for our cute little balloon here, we're going to pop this up. Yes, you definitely need the cloud one. It is fun. And it has these really neat little flowers. So it's really kind of cool. You can do almost like a scenery of it raining on the flowers and them being in full bloom. It's There's lots of possibilities with that. All right, then I'm gonna move those off of there and I'm going to place this right here in the center-ish, kind of overlapping over this corner here. Now, I'm gonna do my sentiment really quick just because I want to have um, the space in here before I start putting clouds and stuff. So with this one, I'm going to use the hang in there and we're gonna do that in our Night of Navy. Okay, and I'm just gonna place that right here. And then it looks like my, my little balloon is crooked, but that's okay, it's blowing in the wind, so it can be crooked. Then where did all my clouds go? This cloud is going to go right here, but we're gonna pop that up. So I'm just gonna put one in the center of that. And I'm just gonna tuck it in right like so. Then this one here, because I'm at the end of my dimensionals here, I'm just gonna cut these up a little bit because there's still very much use left on here. So I'm gonna go ahead and use what's left. This one is now gonna come, and just know the reason why I'm gonna let this kind of overlap just a skosh is because I still have a border on the white. So if I take this out just a little bit, it'll be okay because it's now going to go out onto my white layer. And I kinda like that. So I'm gonna actually go ahead and glue this down. So see, it hangs over a little bit, but we don't have to cut that hangover because it's going to go right along our white, so it'll still fit in an envelope. OK, 
Okay, let's take our little balloons and I am going to adhere this straight down. And I forgot to cut the little basket out. Okay, this is now going to go just like that right on there. And then we can kind of flap these out. There's one more that we can flap out. There we go. To give it that. There we go. There we go. And then we'll kind of just lay down. Let me grab, I need to die cut. So I'm going to use this little basket right here. It is more, um, it's got thinner little strings that look like um, the basket is just hanging right onto that. So I'm going to die cut that really quick out of my boho blue. So there's that little basket. I'm going to put just a dab of glue on the back of that. Tuck that just right underneath. Just like that. There's that little basket. And then I have one more little cloud here that I think I might just tuck, keep it all the way in, but just kind of tuck it right like that. Mm, no, I'm going to leave that one off. Yep, I think I like it like that. That looks cute. Okay, now what I was telling you is we're going to add a little bit of something to this so i have brought in these are um called the adhesive back solid gems now this is our boho blue so what i'm gonna do with this is i am just going to add these little tiny ones i'm gonna start at the first one and then all these little dots i'm gonna skip three and then add another one there skip another three add one there push those down make sure they're gonna stay and then if we skip another three it'll put us right at the last one so perfect We've got an odd number, so we've got five of them because like I say, it looks better in odd numbers. It kind of just, our eye um, really likes to catch an odd number of uh, embellishments or like when I stamped the clouds, I wanted to make sure that I had three of them on there. It just is kind of like street appeal, but it's card appeal. <laughs> so it's it's just kind of a thing that they say in odd numbers so that gives us the perfect odd number of our little embellishments on there and then we've got this little pop-up uh heart balloon which is really really sweet so let's figure out what we're going to do in the inside of this card where did i put that so let me grab my paper trimmer again this needs to be cut at four So on this one, we can actually put the sentiment, just a note to lift you up since we put hang in there. I think that's kind of sweet to go in that. So 
So we will put that. Actually, I'm going to stamp another one of our boho blue clouds. But I think I'm gonna stamp off once. Okay, and I'm just going to stamp here. So I want this very light. I'll do another one here. And then one more kind of up over here. Okay, then I'm going to take my sentiment in the Knight of Navy. And just do right like that. So it's very, very light and subtle, but you can still see that it continues that same look from the outside on the inside. I know some people like to add a layer of color in between, like you could do a light, um, a little small layer behind this, do an eighth of an inch of the boho blue. Just make sure that when you start adding more layers that just know that if you're going to mail this card, it is going to get heavier with every layer that, of paper you put on there. So there's the inside of our card, there's the outside. So let me bring in the three cards that I have created for you guys tonight. So there are our three cards that I shared with you guys um, this is the hot air balloon set. So to get your kit in the mail, simply place an order of $35 or more using my host code. You must use the host code there and I will send you enough supplies to create these three cards. Now I do die cut the die cut images for you, um, for like these pieces here, I would already give you the die cuts and I would do the intricate, but I will not stamp the balloon and I will not die cut the balloon because the balloons have to be die cut once they're stamped. It doesn't work if you try to stamp on there, it'll just, it'll, it doesn't come out right unless you are like have a, uh, what is it called? A stamp baratus might work, but I just don't even go there. That's something that you can do when you have this set or any set that you choose to use. I will though provide you the scrap paper to um, die cut your images out with though. So I give you the extra pieces to um, do your stamping. So there you guys go. I hope you guys enjoyed these hot air balloons as much as I did. <clears throat> I loved coming up with the ideas of these for you guys. I just think they are such a different um, look to all three of these. So when you guys get your sets, have fun with it. And please feel free to use any of the designs that I have shared with you guys on here today. All right, you guys have a very, very wonderful week. Um, I don't think I have anything else coming up this week. So I will see you guys next Monday. Have a very, very safe and happy weekend and take care of yourselves. Love you guys. Bye.